Good afternoon. Today we're going to be talking about is college worth the money? Thousands of high school individuals always have one question on their mind come senior year. Is college worth it? Everyone's stressed about college and always has to weigh the pros and the cons of going to college. Most people look at the financial issues with college and others worry about the academics, if they can even pass the class. There are so many reasons that college might not be worth it, but there are also some reasons that college might be worth it. Whether it's because you need a diploma to go in that field of work that you want to go into, or maybe it's because you want to, or you have a scholarship and want to play for the college team. First off, we're going to be looking at the financial issues with college. College costs money, of course, <laughs> and a lot of high school students don't have that money to pay for tuition right off the bat. This can lead to debt that stays with you even after you have kids in a house. It's almost lifelong. According to the site Student Loan Hero Americans, oh, around $1.7 trillion in student debt. And the average college student graduates with an average debt of $30,000. This is an insane amount of money and a lot of people can never pay it off because they don't have enough money or they don't earn enough money to pay it off. Secondly, there's the issue of academics. The percentage of freshmen failing college classes their first year is unbelievably high. According to a site called The Classroom, more than 50% of college students don't make it past their first few classes of college and they drop out. This is, site goes on to say that almost 75% of college students don't make it to graduation. This is a problem because the classes that they took still cost the money and they'll have to pay for them if they didn't drop out soon enough. Again, this can lead to financial issues throughout their life that they'll have to pay for. There's also a deal with scholarships. Scholarships are a good thing when it comes to college. It means that you can get money off depending on how much your college tuition or college is willing to pay for you. This means that you, even if you don't get a full ride, you still won't have to pay as much. So it's almost like going to college for free and you don't have to worry about the financial issues. Fourth and foremost, there's the fact that maybe the line of work you wish to go into requires a diploma in that general studies. Take doctors, for example. They require a diploma in order to go to that field of work, so they have to go to college to get that diploma. Many times in this case, a diploma allows you to earn more money, and with more money, this leads to the fact that you'll be able to pay off your college debts within a decent time, so you won't have to worry. Again though, these doctor trainees might not make it through all their classes in schooling and will have to drop out, which might lead to debt. And again, they might not be able to pay it off. To conclude, there's different pros and cons about college, and no matter what, people are always going to stress about them. All you have to do is do your research and check and make sure college is right for you.